Hey guys, it's Kevin on the Outer Banks, North Carolina again. Uh, I'm going to try to get this video up to you, or I'm going to try to put it all together. We'll see how it goes. Uh, this is uh, going to be a series of videos about a uh, putting together a, a system a lot like mine, but actually a little bit nicer than mine. He's got a, he's got a better roof for it. He's uh, going to have some nicer equipment, nicer batteries, and uh, I'm going to shoot this out to you. And this is also going to be a series and I really don't know how long it'll be before the next video because we still have a lot of components to get together and uh, and we're gonna try to get it done before the first of the year obviously I don't know you know how much you guys know about the uh, tax breaks uh, here in North Carolina between state and fed uh, we get about 52 percent back and uh, I don't really mind taking it because they're going to take it from us. Uh, we just uh, we just got a 14% tax hike here, and um, so I I just don't mind it. You know, if, if you buy like 50 batteries and one solar panel, then you can take you know basically 50% off that, and and that's depends on what your state gives you. I know uh, Fed is right around 30%. So uh, I'm going to get this video out to you, or I'm going to try to anyway and uh and hopefully we'll we're going to do the whole series we'll do everything we'll do the uh the wiring and uh my buddy he's going to be involved so uh there'll be somebody to hold the camera for making terminals and, and crimping and setting the whole thing up so i i hope it's going to be helpful mr recycle What you got there? A solar panel. What you gonna do with them? Put them on the roof. Really? Yeah. Hey guys, it's Kevin on the Outer Banks, North Carolina again. This is uh, the solar project I've talked about before, a buddy of mine's house. Uh, it's gonna be similar to mine. It's gonna be a little nicer actually because he's gonna put some better components. But uh, this is his roof where we're going to be putting the panels, and uh, I'm going to do a series of videos, and uh, I'll have somebody else actually, you know, doing some of the work so you can get to see some of the hands-on stuff. But anyway, we're going to put six 200-watt panels up here, and uh, his roof is perfect for it. It's uh, southern-facing and, and just a hair to the west, which is about perfect, and it's almost at 30 degrees, which is perfect for this area. All right, this is going to be his battery room and also going to do the mechanicals. What we're going to do here, he's got a 208 panel here. We're going to separate out the breakers he wants, like refrigeration, things like that. We're going to set a uh, sub panel here and then right above the water heater, we're going to set a uh, outback uh, grid inner tie inverter. Really nice stuff. And uh, here's his batteries. And uh, he's got 12 Trojan T105 RE's and this is something new they came out with which you know stands for renewable energy and uh, these batteries are going to sit just like they are and uh, we'll be cabling all those together and we'll show you how that goes and uh, these are not going to be in a box in fact we're going to vent the entire room we're going to put a vent way up there in the corner and uh, it's going to be a continuous running vent and it'll take care of all the gases and uh, but we'll go from there and uh, he doesn't have all the components yet, so it's going to be a little while probably before we get the next video out. Uh, once he has all the components, uh, we'll start putting it together and I'll shoot you guys out a video on this. So anybody who wants to uh, uh, build a system, we're going to have some cool information coming at you and actually some watching it actually being put together. And uh, like I said, he's going to have a sub panel and uh, his outback inverter is going to be hanging there. It's going to have an automatic transfer switch in it. It's going to grid tie automatically, and uh, he's going to be going with the uh, Xantrex C60 charge controller, uh, and it's also going to be a 24 volt system. So these batteries are going to be in 24 volt, and uh, we'll show you how all that's done. So uh, we'll see you. And here's the solar panels. There's six of them. Six uh, 200s or 205s? 200s. 200 watt uh, GE panels, uh, UL listed. Uh, really nice. Got a, he got a real good deal on these from uh, sunelect.com in Florida and uh, just got them today. 
So uh, those will be going up on the roof, and we're also going to go through, you know, exactly how we're going to mount them. We're not going to be using the Unirack system. We're going to be uh, using the same thing that, the same way my panels are up with some angle aluminum and some stainless steel hardware. So uh, coming at you, I don't know, it may be a few weeks, guys, before we get everything together, but uh, I just want to get this out to you so you guys keep your heads up, and uh, we're going to try to get this all out to you. Uh, in layman's terms instead of just showing you a system putting it together and pointing a bunch of fingers I got this I got that and so uh, we'll, uh, we'll go from there poor copper here I would have filmed this video earlier but uh, I threw the tennis ball about 50 times too many times and he finally gave up I'm not even sure he brought the ball back but uh, let me go back let me go to the wire now uh, a friend of mine works in the same industry I do. Uh, I actually work for Caterpillar. He actually works for a boat yard, so he can uh, he can come across wire real easy. Uh, like I said before, this is a really wasteful in industry, and uh, it's kind of a shame to waste stuff. But it's great for us guys to uh, grab the wire. I mean, he's got some fantastic stuff here. That whole pile there, the yellow and red, that's all four out cable, and uh, that's also got a very heavy duty uh, shield on it. So. Uh, that's uh, some fantastic wire. I think that stuff retails about fourteen to sixteen dollars a foot, and uh, he's got all the cool little wires we're going to need, and uh, and uh, we're going to go through this. We're actually going to show the crimp in the terminals, doing the heat shrink, uh, linking the batteries together. This piece of uh, this is actually a fifteen amp shore power cable, and uh, since he's running a twenty four volt, he only needs half the size that I got, even though the mine's a little overkill. So his will be overkill too. So uh, this shore power cable is going to go from his roof uh, all the way to that utility room. So uh, it's going to be cool and uh, hopefully uh, you guys will uh, pick up some information and and be able to build your own. Let's see, I've been giving him hell about this too. Uh, I'm not a bug out kind of guy but this is the bug out vehicle. 1967 K10 all redone way back in the day and it's just sitting down here rotting away I've been giving them hell about this look at that flat tire there's no excuse and there's like brand new mud train TAs on there but uh this thing's EMP proof this thing's ready to go other than the flat tire all right so I'm gonna try to get this series out to you the best I can uh, obviously I'm not a great video maker uh, I try to share information and uh, we'll see how it goes so uh, I'm gonna try to get the next video out to you as soon as I can uh, when we get the stuff together and we start working on it and, and I'll try to document every bit of it I can uh, that one part there instead of correcting it on the video uh, you know about the 14% tax hike that was actually a 14% electrical uh, hike in our rates and uh, I'll get this out to you. So you guys take care. Thanks. Bye